So welcome everyone. Um, this morning, if you are in Europe uh, or at another time of the day, um, what are we talking about today? You can see that the title of our speech is called "Facilitating Intercooperation of IT Cooperatives Using Odoo," and it's what Sergi and me uh, will be talking about for the next 30 minutes. We actually have the plan to talk for only 15 minutes and then ask some questions afterwards. Um, and for that, we will um see if we can manage to have give the microphone to some other people as well um okay let's go what are we talking about today so as you can see in the title we'll be talking about it cooperatives which means worker corporations implementing odoo and other tools for it cooperatives for actors in the social economy so these are actors uh, companies organizations and so on um that can be for example energy cooperatives, uh, some management tool for their shares, or cooperative supermarkets who have members working in shifts and need some tool to manage that, or uh, housing cooperatives or housing initiatives that need to keep track of who who has paid or hasn't paid his rent. Uh, and we are talking about these IT cooperatives um, because we see uh, and we are part of um, some of these cooperatives that start working together. Um, we see that many IT cooperatives making, uh, amongst other Odoo tools for these actors, are IT cooperatives. And uh, what we have done ourselves and are seeing around us is that some IT cooperatives have joined forces. They decided to mutualize their resources, share knowledge, and build better tools together. So today we'll talk about who's doing that, why we're doing that, and how it's uh, how it's being done. And then we'll end with an open discussion to hear your feedback on, on what we are doing on the ways we are starting to intercooperate inter um, and here uh, especially also if you have had similar experiences um, that we can learn from or that we can join. Um, yeah, let's go. Uh, I'll give the word to Sergi to talk about a bit the history of how this uh, intercooperation that we are a part of um, started and who are the main actors. Yes, thank you, Manuel. Um, yes, we can start with this uh, short version of our love history between Copitizi and Copdebs. Um, the first contact between Copdebs and Copitizi was in the OCA days uh, 2018. We had a first contact between organizations related uh, with ODU, IT, and cooperative movement. And to the good relationship that uh, between Copdebs and Copitizi, we decided to organize a new meeting in Belgium in, in 2019 to continue working. We invite to attend many organizations, mainly focused on cooperative supermarket uh, movement. And a year later, uh, we thought that in order to continue with uh, this intercooperation, uh, it was necessary to build a common framework between Copdebs and CopyTZ before to join others. That is why in 2020, we held another meeting also in Belgium uh, in, at COP City in Brussels, uh, focused in common goals uh, to continue working uh, regularly. Uh, and during 2020, we have been holding monthly coordination meeting of these intercooperation projects. And we have finally reached uh, this OCA days 2020 where we would like to present uh, our work and, and, and encourage other organizations to join us. Yes, and not only here yet is the future because we will probably be meeting also next year, but we're talking more about that in a second. Um, we've told you that we ourselves are IT cooperatives. And so I'd like to take some time to explain what that means, what it means to be a worker cooperative because it's one of the starting places of this initiative. Um, so for those who don't know, cooperatives are a form of enterprises uh, which are controlled and run by and for their workers. So that means that workers have control of their own economic future and they're not working for uh, a company who is owned by external shareholders uh, and have a say in, uh, have a big say in how the company and the uh, finances are regulated and projects. Um, so we are, um, we as part of cooperatives are employees and business owners at the same time. And so this type of enterprise, a corporation, a workers' corporation, is a value-driven uh, enterprise. Uh, and these values have sort of crystallized in uh, seven principles 
that are put forward by the International Cooperation uh, Association, the ICA, which sounds almost like the OSA, but it's not. Um, you can see the seven principles there. Um, and, uh, and they talk about open and voluntary membership, so uh, everybody is open to come become a, a shareholder of cooperatives, uh, of democratic member control. Cooperatives are typically controlled by a one-member, one-vote rule, which means that every um, member has the same uh, weight, uh, and it's not dependent on the amount of capital that he or she has brought in. You can see some other principles there as well. The number seven talks about concern for community, so working towards sustainable development in their communities. And number six mentions cooperation among cooperatives. So it, it uh, um, motivates cooperatives to strengthen the cooperative movement by working together. And that's very much what inspired us to um, to start this movement um, or this uh, or, uh, initiative. So Sergi, uh, let's talk about which cooperatives currently exist working with Odoo or NIT. Yes. Um... Uh, here we want to to map uh, more organizations that uh, both of these two types of organization cooperatives that are using Odoo, for example, the Mobility Factor uh, Factory, that is a second level cooperative of mobility and car sharing cooperatives. Energy cooperatives uh, use a lot uh, Odoo, Telecom cooperative, Cop supermarkets like like uh, Piscop, Lenit, La Louvre. and also we want to to be in touch with IT providers for social economy like us, like uh, Copitizi and Copdebs, but also Grab, uh, Web Architects, and others. And uh, we thought that both of these kind of cooperatives can benefit of this intercooperation because um, uh, cooperatives that uh, are using ODO can join efforts and have us a common roadmaps and join budgets to, to invest in, in, in ODO development uh, models. And also IT services can provide uh, and can uh, intercooperate, uh, offering uh, their services to these to these cooperatives. Yeah, um, exactly. So Sergi just mentioned that uh, cooperatives can benefit from intercooperation. Both the IT cooperatives offering services and the social economy actors uh, that can also be cooperatives um, that they offer services to. So let's talk about what a bit more about what this benefit is and about why is uh, and about so why we engage in this intercooperation ourselves. Um, what are the goals of, of this intercooperation initiative for us? Um, firstly, it's to our our first goal is to develop and maintain a common base of IT tools um, for the main branches of the social economy. So currently, those are audio models, and we have uh, two main projects uh, that uh, more uh, that we would like to work on. For which we would like to have to to build together um, some standard uh, uh, offer that we can uh, some standard solution that we can offer to the social economy and that is um, shared and common. Um, so for one example, for example, uh, is that we have uh, developed a management tool for cooperative supermarkets and within our intercooperation initiative. Um, we have uh, added functionality and translations to that uh, to that uh, module, um, such that it could be used in upcoming supermarkets, not only in Belgium where it was developed, but also in Spain, uh, which is much more efficient, of course, than than uh, uh, having um, our partner CopDevs uh, starting all over again. So, of course, in the future, we would also like to integrate these products into OCA because this is uh, part of our initiative that's quite similar to the OCA. Um, but more more so in the future, we would we hope to uh, engage in some more strategic planning and and uh, together and also funding together for these projects. So we uh, would like to hold hackathons to work together and hear what our uh, what the actors in the social economy that we work for what they really need as tools to decide together which ones are the ones we would like to work on this year, and to look for what funding we can uh, have or uh, assign to um, to divide the tasks and realize them together. So that's really your first uh, goal of this intercooperation. Then secondly, a big goal is to maintain functional documentation um, for the tools that we build, uh, making it as easy as possible for others to install our tools, to use our tools, for uh, to train on, on uh, uh, themselves and others uh, 
uh, to um, facilitate the dissipation of our tools um, and to therefore help the social economy, um, uh, to explain to their clients, to train their functional staff. Uh, and by maintaining this together, the burden of making documentation is shared and more actors can benefit from our efforts. So there was a talk yesterday also about the documentation system within the OCA, uh, where I mentioned that we are uh, building a functional documentation also within this project. So we'll give you a sneak peek of that uh, afterwards and the tool we are using. Um, and then two other uh, goals that we have is, of course, to promote open source tools and their su and support your community as well as, uh, uh, as we all do here at the OCA. Um, and then lastly, to improve the cooperative mo cooperativist movement uh, through IT, because we fr truly believe that cooperativism uh, can improve our society and take care of our, our environment. Um, yeah. So if we go to the next slide, we can see uh, how we go about that. Um, and currently, so each member of the uh, two cooperative two cooperatives that uh, are uh, mainly investing in this movement uh, dedicate some time to work on this uh, on this project uh, every month and meet uh, once a month to, to do the follow-up. We also organize a hackathon once a year um, to work on the future of our tools and to de develop and code together. And in the future, we would like to uh, have a common budget or work towards a common budget for bigger tasks and explore mutualization of costs between the various actors and ourselves. Okay. So, what are our main projects and, and our roadmap? Um, so, first of all, uh, to set up and coordinate uh, this intercooperation group that it's a lot of uh, job. Um, we should have the common uh, strategy and the common roadmap. Um, we was working in our web website and we set up a um, documentation system to have all uh, documentation about functional documentation about uh, the models that we develop. Um, we move uh, forward uh, joint solution solution for scale and point of sale that it's uh, mainly used used for uh, cooperative supermarkets and improve our cooperative share management tool uh, through copy copy uh, easy my cop sorry. Um, Easy My Cop are models uh, focused in this um, set uh, sign up for, for membership and also the shares management system. And also generalize uh, cooperative supermarket models because uh, the models that uh, we start on are focused on the necessities of, of Biscop supermarket um, but we want more generali uh, general solution for all kind of cooperatives uh, supermarket so yes uh, you can join us uh, we warmly invite you to join uh, us in efforts um, you can check out this uh, website it for social economy org and you will find there uh, a lot of information of uh, our intercooperation and also you will find a link a link to to join us and go to our forum and and present your project and and start the conversation and, and keep in touch yes uh, actually, i actually turn on my video because I thought so I was turned off. Um, you can maybe give a sneak peek to the website and to the documentation system that's uh, under construction strategy if you want to before we go to the open discussion because we're all on time. Yes, let's write it for social economy. Here we have our super simple website but uh, with all the information and, and here are the, the link to the documentation it's doc dot it for there's a link economy. in the on the, the, the top of the website as well okay. yes that it's only set up and we will start uh, the documentation always do and vertical cooperative that is easy my cop and we will work in a uh, french english and catalan slash spanish um, documentation it's a, it's a big effort, so we should uh, we should think the best way to to do that. Yeah.
Great. Um, so now um, I would like to open the the floor for questions or input about this open, uh, about this um, this topic. So we have two questions that we would like yeah. to ask. First, uh, are there are people present here who are doing something similar or interested to join? So if if you if you are, can you tell us uh, who you are and how you have incorporated intercorporated on larger projects? Uh, and then maybe after that we can leave some time for dreaming. Let's let's take some time to dream about what form or shape intercorporation could have, or what topics from the social economy could benefit from this approach. So if you would like to contribute to this, maybe I don't know. Uh, I'll ask the moderator how they can best. Do they raise a hand? Do they yeah. answer in the chat? Yeah. So anyone like who wants to ask any questions, they can. Like ask the question on Q&A or they can raise their hand so that I can unmute them and they can speak if they want. So anyone has any questions? So anyone from the participants who have any questions, they can ask a question on Q&A. Can we wait uh, we can show uh, where is the place that you can sure. say hi? Uh, here in the website, uh, you have this, this link to our forum. And and you go to a discourse, a community forum. Uh, that you can say, you can open and respond to this thread and, and tell about your project and, and how you can join to us. So again, for those who are just joining, if you have worked together on a project with other uh, or do implementers, other partners, other cooperatives, you are a cooperative yourself and you would like to um, uh, work with other cooperatives as well, um, please raise your hand or ask a question so we can hear from you. So any of the participants can just uh, put their questions on Q&A. So I can either unmute them or I can convey your message. OK, if not, I think we are done. Yeah, so uh, if anyone wants to, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if this is a, the, it's a bit tricky with the, with this new format, I think. Or maybe people are a bit timid or still asleep, I don't know. Um, we'll make sure to leave the, the link um, and the information on how to join us uh, in the description so people who are maybe um, a little shy can contact us there. Um, if you want to hear more about our approach uh, or um, uh, participate or have questions, you can also ask us about it. Or yeah, to say hi on our forums. Or you can, you can just like uh, ask questions on Discord. I'll share the information there. So if anyone wants to ask further questions, you can ask there. Sure, perfect. So I So thank you Manuel. Thank you, Sergey. That was a good session. Here. Thank you. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, yeah. See you soon. Uh wait a second, Sergey.
uh, I see that we have one question in the Q and A uh, from a certain. Ah, there we go. Nice. Uh, yeah. That one. <laughs> yeah. So let's answer that one. Uh, there's Lebnarin who says, uh, "Hi there. We are just starting to find out if Odoo will be the right tool for our cooperative store and member work. Will we be right in this network, uh, or is it only for long-time users?" Sergey, can you answer that question? Thank you for that question, Lebnarin. You saved our Q and our open question. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yes, I think um, every cooperative that uh, that will use or uh, is thinking to use Odoo um, is will come to to join us because um, at least we have the same um, the same uh, the easy my cop models that we need for membership uh, management. So, uh, and at, uh, also it's important to, to be in contact to have this network of cooperatives using um, Odo because uh, we can um, uh, we can have a, a, a common uh, training on Odo and share our experiences using Odo and it's always uh, a good idea to to have to be in touch. Yeah, I also think that it's uh, interesting to first of all our goal. The goal of what we set up would be that we have a website where you can go to. Um, uh, ah, you're going to answer this question live. Can we have? Can we have? Give the mic to Bednorn. Yeah, I'm sure. Here that, uh, everyone is going to. I oh, know it's it's, um, it's you. Who, sorry, no, uh, uh, I thought uh, Edwin wants to answer my, uh, and he can he can now. So if you want to if you want to speak, you can. Otherwise, I will just uh, uh, reply. I think it, the goal of our uh, system is to have a kind of website where you where your initiative or your type of uh, starting cooperative store could go to and find on all the information you need to get started. Um, uh, so it's also interesting for us now to know what your needs are now and uh, uh, how we can help you start. Um, and otherwise, it's just cool to hear about you in the forum so we uh, we know uh, where you are and what your demands are, um, what your goals are, and we can see how uh, you can already we can answer your questions and see how you can already find some of your, your what you're looking for in the current tools we provide and start to list what else you would like to work, uh, to have us work on in the future. If you want, uh, you can give some more comments yourself while you are live. So, Ledner in that, is that, like, does that answer your question? Yeah. Or do you have any other questions? Yeah. yeah welcome. Well, anyone else like have any questions, so they can ask. So yes, like uh, if anyone else has any questions, they can ask on Discord channel. So you can interact there. And yeah, exactly. Man we'll be on Discord for a, a little answer. while longer. Yeah. Otherwise, find us or go to our website and leave a note on our forum. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Fagun, for hosting us. Uh, another question. Ah, about that, question, on, the, guess, on yeah. the information about the, the process. Oh, okay, yeah, it's a. Uh, so we will keep in in touch. Uh, well, twenty euro of organic food company, food cup orange to God. Uh, yeah, cool. Um, okay. Let's let's hear from you later. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sergey. Thank you, Manuel.